Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to download and install Downloader on your Fire Stick or Fire TV. Now the first thing you want to do is enable developer options on your Fire Stick. So to do that, we're going to go settings. Now depending what you have, if it's Fire Stick or Fire TV, it's either going to be my Fire TV or it's going to be my device, which would be located around here somewhere. For me, it's going to be my Fire TV. Once we're here, I already have it enabled, but to enable it, you're gonna go on about. And once you're here, you're gonna click on this about seven times fast. And for me, it already says you're a developer. So we're gonna back out of here and we're gonna go to developer options. And we're gonna enable apps from unknown sources. We're gonna turn that on. So all right, so now that we are on the home page, we're gonna go to this find and uh, we're gonna click on it and we're gonna type in down uh, downloader. It's going to show up right here. You can type the whole thing if it doesn't show up. I'm gonna click on this and this is the app that we want. So we're gonna click on that. And for me, it says download, you own it. So I'm just gonna press on download. I'm gonna wait a little bit. Now, if this doesn't work for you, another way to do this is make sure you signed in with your Amazon account on your browser. So once you open that, you're gonna search for that app on the Amazon website, and then you're gonna push that app on your Fire Stick. That's another way to download if this doesn't work. Now let's open it. It says allow download to access photos, media, and files. You have to click allow. If you don't click allow, it's not gonna work as good and it might not work at all. So make sure you click allow. Now there's a couple different ways to use Downloader. The best way is to just enter URL. So for example, if you wanna download and install Kodi, make sure you go online, find the URL. You're gonna enter it here and then you're just gonna press go. The Downloader app will download that file and then it will help you install it. Another way is if if the app you want doesn't have the URL, you can go browser here and then you can go to that website of the app you want and you can download and install it that way. But this app is very useful and I've been using it for many years. So if you're into downloading apps that aren't on the Amazon store, this is a must app to have. If you guys have any questions, leave them in comments. And if this video helped you out, please like and subscribe. It will really help me out. Thank you guys for watching.